Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 here on the channel. Right, so the end of the last episode, if you were there, we did make our way to the Parsons Insti the, the Parsons State Insane Asylum, which is a place that, thinking about it in hindsight, I don't really know if I want to be here or not, to the truth. Um, it's quite terrifying. Um, at the end of the last episode, we did walk up towards the building, and a gunner said, this is, a, this is a private property, you are trespassing, so we turned away and we came into our pit boy just to sort of freeze the game. So let's come back out and see what he's got to say. Thing is, I did try and vat and I couldn't see anyone. So I don't know who it is that's talking. This place is off limits. Move along. There's the mercenary, yeah. But who's saying that? Where are you? Ah, he's over there. This place is off limits. Move along. You're trespassing on private property. Better Can I talk? Or else. Can we talk? If this place is off limits. Move along. This is private property. Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> yeah, I shot him in the head. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, so where are the people now? I saw the red thing over there. I think Ada's destroyed him. So I wonder what's going to be inside this place. I must be something good because look at the size of it. Oh god, I really think this is a bad idea. Trespassing on private property. Better move along or else. So where are you? Man, I've just killed two of your mates. Are you not bothered? Are you really not bothered? I just shot two of your mates. I don't know why you're not bothered for. <laughs> I really don't. Okay. <coughs> Let's take you down. There must be something interesting in here then, because my only worry is bringing Ada in here with her legs. Oh, let's just go for it. Don't have the key. Requires the key. Need to look elsewhere for an entrance. I did see up here. There was. Um, There's a little building here, that doesn't have a key in it, does it, by any chance? It is a gatehouse, it would make sense if it had a key, I suppose. No, nope, nothing in there. Um, and another one over here. Again, being a gatehouse, it makes sense if it had some sort of key in here, but no, it doesn't. So it looks like there is going to be another way into the building. It's still difficult to find this sort of thing during the day, uh, during the night even. What's that? A hub flower? Do you want to harvest some hub flower? Um, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There's wheelchairs and there's wool. Mate, you just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> You're the architect of your own downfall, you are. Alright, yeah, there you are. Are you literally hiding behind a chain name fence, thinking that's gonna protect you? Come on, I just shoot you. Oh god, I'm injured. How's that happen? Oh no, I'm not. Right, is there an entrance around the back here, potentially? I don't think there probably will be an entrance around here, but it's worth a look. Nope. So let's continue our wander around the building. I'm sure at some point there'll be an entrance. It's not going to be through one of these other buildings, is it? So what? Where are we? How are we get it? Oh, there's a back. Maybe we have to enter through the back door, maybe. Blast radius board game. We'll take that because that's got some good stuff in it, actually. You're trespassing on private property. Better move along. So there must be to have this many mercenaries around there. There must be something good inside. So Ada, you beast. Just running in there with her guns blazing. Is this a way in? Potentially? No. Check his pile of ashes, see if there's anything good in there. We'll take his ammo. So we're in some sort of garden now. What do we have here? We have a dead person. Great. Um, some sort of potting shed by the looks of it. So is that an entrance in there? There's a door there. Is that going to be the entrance? No, it's blocked off. Hmm. This is private property. Is it? Oh, sorry, I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware this was private property. 
Bye bye. And again. What if one of these guys eventually is going to have the key, maybe? we got a stim pack, that'd be handy. Um, Ada, you found that entrance there? No? This guy over here is spoiling for a rumble. Oh, look at Ada stealing my kills again. I wish this gun was a bit more accurate. Right, Ada. We're getting a lot of XP, we're getting a 42 XP for each of these guys. Why can't I loot him? There we go. Frag grenade, we'll have a bit of that. Okay. Nine bottle caps. Um, still nothing that's gonna get us inside the building. There's a tractor. Ooh, water. I don't like the water. This could be a uh, way in. Or not. Oh, I'd say this place is really freaking me out. It's giving the chills. We've almost been around the entire building now, then. There was no entrance I could see into the building. Because we're blocked off now as a fence. So let's go back around where we came. We're going to have to walk back that way anyway. So. That's blocked off. I wonder whether you have to get in through a different building then, maybe. Maybe like some sort of underground passageway? Because there's nothing along here, is that? Oh, the building's glitched. The building disappeared there for a second. I got a bit... I was like, oh, the lights are flashing off inside. What are they doing? Then I realised it wasn't. It was just the, the building's glitched. Um... There's no way in here either, is there? Along here, these two doors are blocked. Then back around this way. There's a pile of ashes there that we uh, blew somebody up. Up here, there's no way in, is there? The spotlight, what's the spotlight looking at? Oh, it's lighting up our statue. Nowhere up there either, is there? And nowhere up there. Hmm. So how do you get into this insane asylum? That is the question. That is the question. I bet it's going to be bloody complicated. It's either going to be really complicated or really easy, and I'm just missing it. At least it's daytime now. We've got a bit more. So it requires key. So I'm going to assume that... This is unlocked elsewhere. Oh, huh. I wonder if it says it's unlocked elsewhere. I wonder if there's like some sort of patch maybe that we need to... Or lever that we do pull inside here then that will open it. I know we've been here before, but we're looking for keys before. We're looking for some sort of like lever or button on the wall maybe. No. That computer terminal doesn't work anymore, does it? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So that's all blocked off. So that's not a door there, is it? No, some sort of grate. Hmm. So where would be... The, oh, there's another gate over there. I wonder if it's in them gates. We haven't been over and checked these ones yet. It could be something in here. Or maybe there's an entrance around here, maybe? Like a shutter in the floor? Nope. Maybe one of these two gatehouses is going to help us. Bottle caps. No, everything in here is destroyed. One. Hmm. I am perplexed then. I'm not quite uh, sure how we get inside the insane asylum. Is that it's a bullet shot on the wall? 
So we have tried all the gates. I think it could be a time to utilize our good friend Mr. Google. I think. Because I can't seem to find another way in. I can't I can't find it. Let's, let's have a quick look on Google quickly. I don't want to really thing is these sort of things if you don't do them you'll end up forgetting about them completely um, so this is the four out four insane in the membrane Parsons State Insane Asylum um, da 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 there's a bobblehead inside. Ooh, interesting. The secret Cabot house. Ooh, there's actually a mission in here. There's actually a mission here. I wonder if we have to take the mission before we can actually get inside. Do, 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 do. Doesn't say how you get in. Maybe we should go and get the uh, the mission potentially then. So we'd have to go to um Right, let's click on that. The secret of the Cabo house. And we get the mission. Do, do, do. How do you get the mission? How do you meet Jack outside? Okay, so how do you, where do you get the mission from? That's the question. Because I can't see any way of us getting inside this building. Requires key. But we looted all of the raiders we killed, and none of them had a key. And I can't see a key in any of these little gatehouses. Edward Deegan, who spores at Bunker Hill, the third rail, or the dugout inn, or travel directly to the Cabo house and pass two speech checks to be allowed inside. Is there a voice thingy on the wall? Because that would be stupid if I missed that. I can't see a voice. Hmm. I really can't see anything that's going to help us out. So where's Bunker Hill? I think we've been to Bunker Hill somewhere before, haven't we? Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill. Let's have a quick gander at Bunker Hill. So where's Bunker Hill? That might help us out if we know that. Um, it is... Okay, it's apparently down... ...here-ish. It is there, Bunker Hill. Well, let's fast travel to Bunker Hill and see if we can find a guy called... Uh, I want to try and find a guy called Edward Deegan. Who is a ghoul. And he can be found in Bunker Hill. Once we speak to him, he should give us the mission then to go back there and then we should be allowed in. And we can try and find out what the hell's going on. It looks like it's actually quite a big area. I'd never seen anything for it before, I must admit, but it looks like quite a big area, so I really want to get in there and see exactly what we can find. Because there might be some good stuff in there. To have that many mercenaries hanging around outside, you think they must be protecting something. And hopefully it's a nice good bit of armour or a weapon. There is a bobblehead in there as well, the bobblehead for charisma. So that would be nice to get a hold of that, because we've not got that many bobbleheads yet, considering we're 81 episodes in now. 
Ah, uh, Bunker Hill. I know Bunker Hill. Right, so we're looking for a ghoul. You'll find I'm very and there he is. persistent. That was good. You got my attention. And you got my attention by poking your nose into my business. Specifically, by shooting up a place called Parsons State Insane Asylum. Ah. A place that happens to be owned by my boss. Okay. Yeah, I remember that place. That's nice. You did a lot of damage. But I don't hold any of that against you. Part of the cost of doing business these days. I took the trouble of tracking you down because I'm always looking for people that can handle themselves in dangerous situations. Seems like you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the nice. way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay. Sweet. So now looking for a guy called Jack Cabot. So where is that then, my friends? Um, quests. Okay, let's just walk straight from here. Then we'll just go, uh, just go south straight from here. We should be able to find it. So it looks like we we must have had to go to the insane asylum to shoot a few people up to initiate the uh, that part of the mission. Because we've been to Bunker Hill a couple of times. We've never had anything like that before. So. Uh, that's quite handy to, to have done that, because the thing is, if I hadn't have Googled that, I don't think I would have actually figured that out. The problem with this game is it's just so big that there's just no... I want to try and do everything I possibly can on this game, but I just think it's impossible. I don't think you can do everything because it's so difficult to find everything. Just like it is difficult to find the entrance to this building. Let me jump off this balcony. Thank you. That's a phrase no one's already said before, isn't it? Oh, Ada, how are, you, how are you already there? That's not Ada. Stay off the grass. <laughs> Be advised, you are being watched. Okay. I don't like it, he's coming for us. Go away. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. I'm worried about that sentry bot. I just, he just upped and came straight at us there for a second, and it did start to worry me. It must, I must admit. So, what if this guy's gonna be a ghoul as well? Come on, let's go meet the boss. Okay. He let me load the screen up first. Thank you. But they always got a nice house, hey. Very nice house. He's a scientist. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. <coughs> what just happened? Oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Hello. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here, since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Going downstairs, don't I? Mind if I do? I'm gonna go on the big sofa. I have a question I'd like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time? Don't interrupt him. The question is this Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Yes, I do. Are you talking about aliens? 
UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city, the Rubal Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sent well, Ada, you are so annoying. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. See, I like that sort of stuff. Congratulations. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job. I've, uh, I've done research, and, well, not necessarily research, but I've watched things on that before about some sort of alternative be um, creation theory. But he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Yeah, what am I looking for? You haven't told me half of what I need to know. Keep your shirt on. I'm getting to it. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Are we good here? Um, How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. You all set then? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Anything else? Nothing else. Okay. So let's go. So we need to fast travel back to the asylum. And then hopefully find some sort of... Can I fast travel from here? No. I will go outside first. And then hopefully find some sort of uh, indication of roughly where this guy has got to. Then we can find the vial of serums. So yeah, that's pretty pretty handy that we just managed to uh, find that place. Because we just went to a settlement and somebody mentioned it, didn't they? And uh, just from there on we've managed to... We've managed to uh, go a bit further. So Mr. Handy over there as well. Is that part of him as well? This is private property. I know, I'm working for your boss. Don't give me all the uh give me your backhand like that. Awareness perk allows you to target damage resistances when you're in VATS. That's not a bad idea, is it? Actually, that's a really good idea, because that will sort of hint at what part of the body we should be aiming for in VATS as well. Because it, it took me a while, I know it sounds stupid, but it took me a while to figure out that if somebody's wearing full armour and no helmet, you aim for their head. Oh, Oberlin Station's being attacked now as well, is it? Okay. Ah, we found... This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Come on, Maria, tell me some stuff. Edward said you might know where to start looking for the package that went missing. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... 
Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're still in this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. I will do that indeed. So is that what we need to know then? Yep. Need to go to the Parsons Creamery. I think what we will do first, um, as it's just popped up, is we will go and uh, defend Oberlin Station. We don't want to lose any settlements. Uh, we'll do that. It'll probably be enough once we've done that to end the episode. The next episode we'll go up to the Creamery. But I do want to make sure that the Oberlin Station is being protected as much as it possibly can. Because it was only a couple of episodes ago that I figured out we can't actually lose settlement. I didn't realise that was a thing, but apparently if settlement's happinesses are so low, there is a chance that you could lose them altogether. So we'll have to keep an eye on that because a few of ours are dropping um, because they do have a couple of issues. Which is why I've been trying to sort out a settlement here and there every episode. Oh. I think I may have just shot one of the settlers. Not gonna lie. Yes, I shot one of the settlers. Um, that could have gone better for me. Where are the raiders? Oh, they're over there. Huh? There's a legendary. Nice. That's why it's always good to come and do these defenses. There's been aiders in the way doing all the work. We can get a couple of shots in before Aiden, no. So what are we going to get from this? Martyr's Combat Right Arm. Temporary slows down time. We do have that already, but I don't think we've got it on a combat item, which is pretty good, actually, because that could be an improvement for us. And we have got... Yes, yeah, so the right arm we have got, Temporary slows down time. But ours is not as good, is it? Because once we've improved this with upgrades that should be a better right arm it's not be a massive difference for us but i like it it's good excellent so we cleared them off that's good and while we are here we'll kill this other raider my aim is awful today isn't it i do apologize I think you're just taking the mick out of me there, aren't you, watching? Is that them all? Yes, that's them all. Okay. I think we did lose a raider in the, uh, a, set a settler in that one, mainly because of me. I may have shot somebody in the back slightly. Um, let's get rid of that bit of fence. So this one's actually okay. They've got a, they've got a low happiness, but apart from that, the defence is high enough. Um, everything seems to be okay on this one. Have they got a beacon? I think they've got a beacon. I think this one, yeah, I think this one's going to be okay, this one. So we ain't got to worry about too much about it then, have we? Happiness is on its way down. Not quite sure why. Let's have a quick look on the... On the workshop screen. Oberlin Station. Are they out and ha they, they've just got low happiness, so I can't quite know why that's on its way down. Hopefully, that'll just naturally come back up now. They might have just dropped because they were being attacked. So hopefully that will just come back up. Outpost of Mondra. Again, that's showing as 76 happiness, but that's showing as a as a um, an alert for some reason. Starlight Drive-In needs more beds. Only three beds. Something's gone wrong there, because I know we did Starlight Drive-In not too long ago. And we built a lot of beds. Abernathy Farm, Boston Airport, County Crossing, Finch Farm, Green Hop Nursery... See, that's showing as a an, an alert, but there's nothing wrong with that one. Oberlin Station's fine now. So maybe we just need to come out and go back in again because... No, no, it's still showing. Okay. Well, we're going to call that here for an episode now anyway. Uh, next episode, we'll come back and we will go up to the creamery um, and try and figure out what uh, what's going on over there. Uh, obviously, get the package back as well so we can um, finish off that mission we've just got in this episode as well. So a packed one for you. Of course, as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please do hit that like button and let me know. And of course, if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well for a lot more Fallout 4. I've been Chevy Gamer. thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.